So when you're ready to put your image onto your canvas, you can cut it out. And I like to leave a little bit of an edge. So I'm cutting around this and I'm leaving a little bit of an edge here so that I end up with a, a tiny little lip all the way around the edge of my piece and then kind of experiment with where on the canvas looks good. You might try turning it the other way so then, like I said earlier, the, the texture that you've added becomes like the line work in your piece. So maybe this one of these could turn into the horizon line or the edge of the pond that this lotus flower is in. Or you can turn it this way and it kind of speaks to the, the symbology of the lotus, which is that they, they are planted down in the mud and then rise up through all these muddy layers and turn into this beautiful blossom. So maybe that upward motion is more what you want to go for. So to put this on, Again, I'm going back to my acrylic mediums and I'm going to mix them. So I want to add a little bit of weight behind some of this. So I'm going to use this crackle medium again and just push it down into some of those cracks. I'm, I'm working to even out a little bit of this surface, but I don't want to lose too much of this beautiful color I've got going on in here. So I'm adding in some of that and I'm using the matte medium as a glue again. Glopping that onto the surface. And then putting my image on. And in some areas, I'm going to let it kind of become a skin across these pieces, these little sticks. And in other areas, I'm going to work to get it pressed down a little bit more so that you see the ribs of the, of the wood on there. And this, this part takes a little bit of nego negotiation between you and the image. Um, you might have to get your fingers messy again. And you may even want to use a little bit of tissue paper to help hold down those edges. So I get it all the way saturated. Um, I want it to be really, really nice and wet so that it kind of sinks down in there. And I always tear the edges because when you get this, if you, if you were to put this straight across edge on there, that's going to show up later on. It's going to be a, an area where your paint is going to change as it meets that hard edge. So I really like to use soft torn edges because they are easier to make disappear. And I'm just using this brush to squish the tissue paper in there and start to get this stuck down to the surface. This is another step where starting it, maybe working on another piece for a little while and coming back to it when this is a little tacky can help because it'll help it stick. You can also use the matte medium, just really thick to help it stick on there. And not worrying too much at this point whether there's a gap because this is this at this part of the process you're going to keep going back over this with matte medium and at this stage you might also want to play with uh, going back and forth with different layers of a matte medium and a gloss medium or um, using some different types of acrylic mediums this one has the mica flakes in it and you can use this to kind of brush towards the image but not onto it to fill in some of where that image meets the rest of the painting, the rest of the art surface. And that way it fills that gap, eliminates the, the lip between the image and the rest of the surface and gives you a little bit of something to work on when we get to the next step of weaving this image in.